Hello and welcome to another episode of The Howls at Noon. I'm your host, Liam Noonan, and I'm joined by my co-host, Rocky Hollows. Hello, America and beyond. What's up? Um, so sorry. <laughs> it's been so long without an episode. Um, but, you know, we've had troubles trying and to get together. Especially with a family emergency. But, you know, yeah. like, life happens, starts and ends. Yeah, our last episode was the Christmas episode. We recorded it about a month and a half ago. And then because of techno um, problems on my side, the technology side, I couldn't upload it until like January 5th. And so um, by then we were kind of, I think we were talking about maybe covering the inauguration. And nah, we do too many politics on this. I'm over it. Yeah. <laughs> the election was ridiculous. And in spite of it being the same month as Valentine's Day, that's why I'm wearing pink socks today, so traditionally. Yeah. Yeah. I think the inauguration went pretty well. I um, think so, too. I only caught a little bit of it. Um, but but anyways, that. anyways, that's not, we're going to, we're not going to talk about that on uh, this mm -hmm. episode, because this episode is actually going up on Super Bowl Sunday. So this is mm -hmm. our Super Bowl episode. And the Royal Rumble recap. Yeah, and Royal Rumble recap. <laughs> Re I almost said re are are the bad one the bad word re c rehab. yeah recap rehab what's the difference yeah so and fun uh, fact the super bowl this year tomorrow is going to be held at raymond james stadium in tampa bay florida which is also going to be home to wrestlemania 37 this april and it's reported that WWE official Stephanie McMahon is going to closely monitor how they're handling the Super Bowl audiences for maybe the first show for WWE with a live audience again. I also heard um, that the WWE Network streaming service is going to be going under Peacock. Yeah, that really triggers me because... I already pay for something monthly, and I know I'm not going to use anything else on Peacock, so this is a really terrible idea on Vince McMahon's part. Um, they do have, like, a Peacock plan where it's free, but you just have to watch the ads for it. I don't mind that. Yeah. Ads have never hurt me. Yeah, that's I what I have. And for the WWE Network, which I'm paying for. Now, all of a sudden, yeah, I have um, I have Peacock free, um, and it's great. I get to watch all of the Harry Potter movies and every episode of The Office, so it's pretty fun. How much is it per month? Uh, I think it's about five dollars a month. That's actually not bad when I think of it. Yeah, I think their basic premium plan is like five dollars a month. Okay, and it still has ads, <laughs> probably. Yeah, they have they have some ads on the basic premium plan. Um, the paying for the non basic the ads. That's what I want to know. The non-basic premium uh, is like maybe nine dollars. That should be like basic premium plan, five bucks. Non-basic, twenty-five thousand dollars. <laughs> I mean, like, okay, yeah, thanks, Comcast. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go kill myself. Bye. -bye. You know, no. Um, but yeah, it's whatever. It was supposed. Peacock was actually supposed to come 
come out during the Summer Olympics. But the Summer Olympics is supposed to happen during the Summer Olympics. Yeah. Instead, they had to force together a 30 Rock reunion. Boo. Instead of not the show that everybody wants them. Yeah. Reunite the cast. The Office. Well, I like The Office. Good show. Yeah, it's, it's a really good show. So uh, is, yeah, recently I've been watching binge watching Big Mouth with my boyfriend, Jesse, and he actually got me into it and into The Office. So he has good taste. Yeah. I've only seen a couple of episodes of Big Mouth. Um, the first episodes are a little bit like Oh, definitely yeah. not made for kids. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, no. Like, if you're squeamish, you're not going to want to watch the show Big Mouth on Netflix. But if you have a very crude, maybe sexual, violent sense of humor, you're going to love this. It's like South Park. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, probably one of those things where I'd say it's TVMA, a rating. Yeah. But it's worth it. Vision on Disney Plus. Mm, I heard it's good, but I haven't seen it yet. Don't it's spoil it. I'm trying to get into it. I might get into it. Maybe. Um Babysitter's Club on Netflix was pretty lit. <laughs> and the per per character plays Christy. I don't know who the actress is, but she looks just like teenage Lindsay Lohan. Not even oh, I'm not kidding. She looks just like Lindsay Lohan as a kid as a kid. Last teenager. I just finished uh, Cobra Kai season three on Netflix. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. It's so good. Go watch it. I will. And all of you people must watch it too. It's on Netflix now. It's not on YouTube. So you yeah. have no excuses. Actually, yeah. The only good show that they had on, and it was, it was the only show that I would watch on YouTube Red. But I don't even have. I'm not bothering with that one. No, no, it's shutting down. I think. Good. We don't want to pay for that crap. <laughs> it's a failed experiment. Move everything to Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But we gotta get back on topic. Let's talk Super about Bowl. let's talk about Super Bowls. How they hold up our Super Bowls of cereal. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Come on, we all had had that one. Heard, saw that one coming. Yeah. Um, my dad had bad jokes. So the Super Bowl, whatever Roman numeral it is, L V I I I. I, mean, I, 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 I Last year I just called the Super Bowl live because <laughs> screw it. And J let's just be real. Last year J Lo and Shakira rocked that Super Bowl halftime show. Yeah. The weekend is not going to be able to compare. I'm sorry. He's not. He's a. He's okay. But as an artist, he's he's not there yet. Nah. What is he gonna do? Like, make vague references to drugs. And. Him being high on cocaine. He's gonna sing all the songs he wrote about drugs, like I Can't Feel My Face and, you know, Blinding Lights. Which yeah. I, don't, I think it might be about narcotics, but I could be wrong. Um, no, I think it's like, I think it's more about um, Las Vegas and gambling. Because he's in Vegas in that music video. So he's going to sing about getting high, getting wasted, and his gambling addiction. Yeah, kids, listen to this artist. Your mom yeah. will love him. Don't be the shit to them. I'm not um, a fan. Like, the weekend's okay. I'm just not a fan. It, he just doesn't do it for me. Like, Justin it, Bieber does it for me. And I hate Justin Bieber. Like, yeah. Oh my God, remember, remember that shit that he tried to pull at the beginning of last year 
Justin Bieber um, when he's trying to get yummy, like top of Billboard. That was such a fail. I think Dance Monkey by Tones and I was a bigger hit than that song. Let's be real for a minute. Like, Stylo G's Dumpling, Tones and I, Dance Monkey, that was rating the charts. Yummy could not make top 10. That that didn't do it. But you know what? One artist that I want to see at the Super Bowl is Ava Max someday. She's going to make it. She's making it big, and she's going to be up there someday. Um, I think her, H-E-R. Oh, I she, love her. She's amazing. I think she might be performing as part of the weekend set. Okay, now I have an actual reason to watch the halftime show. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I saw her tweet her today. Tweet? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, um, I love her. Her She just has an amazing voice and a lot of talent, and she actually p- puts meaning back into music. Like, she's a modern-day L- Lauren Hill. Mm-hmm. I saw her tweet, and she was in Tampa Bay, like, right in front of a private plane, Ooh. and she hashtagged, like, yes, be the Super Bowl hashtag. Mm. Um, so I'm not, also, not, I'm not entirely sure. Anything. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what she meant by that, but she uh, might be. Hmm. She might not. There's two possibilities that I see. I'm so sorry. I keep cutting you off. I'm so sorry. Uh, I see two possibilities. One, she could be part of the halftime show, or two, she could be doing one of or out of two of the national anthems. Wouldn't be bad either way. I love her. Like she's one of my favorite artists, and I'm so happy she's fi- they're they're giving her a lot of publicity because she's got bars. She has a lot of spirit and like heart in her songs. I love that about her. I don't really know her songs. I, I kind of know her from. Song. I kind of know her from the LG commercial that she did, where on TikTok. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. I think it was. She was trying to come up with a song for LG, and she was asking other TikTokers to add like music to it mm. um but she's got great vocals definitely her, her acronym her stands <laughs> for having everything revealed that's what her stands for having everything revealed mm. h-e-r um one thing that i'm pretty sure i my entire family's gonna be watching are the ads that's all i care about besides the halftime show yeah i heard saw the amazon's alexa commercial today just earlier today because it's on their youtube and i also know that doordash has a commercial this year their first and chipotle their first debut super bowl commercials you always gotta see like who, which brands make it big in their first year yeah. of advertising? Like, yes, sure, GoDaddy and Doritos and Coke and Pepsi, they all got their stuff. They have Hall of Fame moments with their ads. They're what everyone looks forward to, but you always got to look at Go ahead. Oh, sorry, I finished. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not me. Go ahead. Um, even the halftime show is sponsored by Pepsi. True, facts. So. That's true. Oh, wait, no. what network is it on this year? I forgot. Um, CBS. Okay, good. I, I think I have them on Sling. That's good. Yeah, I have them on CBS, on Spectrum. Yeah, we have Spectrum. That's horrible. <laughs> and we've got to see what Tide comes up with this year. You know, hashtag Tide ad, right? Yeah. Last year, I remember it was like, not now, later. And they had this one guy keep coming in and out with the laundry basket. It's like, not now, later, 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 not now, later. 
and then um after the Super Bowl was over, they're like, no. Now, okay, now. I don't think I saw that, because, yeah. Hmm. Um, what else? Mm-hmm. Uber Eats. Oh, yeah, I heard they're doing something this year. Yeah, I saw their commercial, their Super Bowl ad. It's Wings Oops. World from SNL. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. I think that's all we should know. I think we should all witness it for ourselves tomorrow. Like, I I have a list of some companies that have confirmed to advertise their commercials during the Super Bowl tomorrow, including a debut commercial from Scott's miracle Grow Potting Soil. Perfect timing with the spring right around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that Doritos is bringing back their Doritos 3D chip, and they're making they a are. huge Super Bowl commercial for it. Yeah, I saw... with uh, Matthew McConaughey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then I also saw that Nick Jonas is going to be in a Dexcom commercial for diabetes and stuff. Yeah, because he has diabetes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Friends like I've, seen, I've seen the Uber Eats one. And I've seen the Doritos ad. I don't really like them, to be honest. I'm trying to keep it PG this year for some dumb, stupid FCC related reason, right? Yeah. Why are um, they doing this? Like, they know everyone loves the crude, hilarious humor from most of the ads from before. For instance, in 2013, I remember a GoDaddy commercial where a hot chick kisses a nerd, a really gross looking nerd. And well, not even kissing, but like making out. And I remember watching that. And I was oh, like, yeah. "Why?" I'm <laughs> just like, "Why?" Um, but yeah, I've seen both of those commercials. One of them, it's two D Matthew McConaughey, and he he eats a three D. Dorito, mm. and then he turns into the third dimension. Oh, yeah. um, Aren't we already the third dimension? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Um, mm-hmm. And the Uber Eats one, it's Wayne's World. They got um, Mike Myers and Dana Carvey. Plus Cardi B. Oh, Cardi B, huh? Yeah. Hmm. I can't wait to. I want. I'm just waiting for her, like Like Cardi Cardi B, to like finally be in the Super Bowl halftime show. How hasn't hasn't that happened? Yeah. Why hasn't that happened? I'm looking on iSpot.tv at the Super Bowl advertisers, and I've seen so far that Chipotle has an ad, their first one ever, which makes sense. Uh, I see that Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans has one. G- General Motors has one. And Paramount Plus has a teaser for Expedition. Expedition song. Oh my goodness. What? Um, Do you know something I don't? <laughs> Paramount Plus, I saw their launch ad um, where it's everything that Viacom owns on top of the Paramount uh, Mountain. So So that's why Drake and Josh is no longer on Hulu. Yeah. So all of all of the Nickelodeon stuff, um, the Daily Show, Viv. with oh, Trevor South Noah. Park, Is South Park on there. Um, I don't think so. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Um, all the Star Trek episodes are going to be there. Um. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert and like the Late Late Show with James Corden, they're gonna be there. Yeah. All the NCIS and CSI shows. 
Well, 10 million of them are going to be there. What about and Survivor? Survivor. CBS? It's just um, weird because two of their seasons are on Netflix right now. Yeah, so it's probably ending soon. Ugh, I do not want another stupid streaming service. This is just getting irritating. Yeah. I have so many subscriptions. I literally just paused, froze Hulu because it was getting too much. And because everything I liked was starting to move away from Hulu. Like, it's just getting anno- to a point where it's just annoying. Like, I don't want 2 billion streaming services. I don't care about HBO Max unless I'm not the one paying for it. Like, and it's funny. I actually let my ex, my ex-boyfriend, Tom, Mm -hmm. uh, Tom Corbain, I let him use uh, my Netflix still because I don't care. He lets me use his Disney Plus in return. And if he does change the password, I'll tell him a Netflix password. So, yeah. You kick him out. Yeah, pretty much. Speaking yeah. of Disney Plus, um, what we got? When's they, the Proud Family, Family series coming back? back? They aren't announcing the Proud Family. Oh man. Um. But they also have like two of Marvel Studios at trailers. Running I don't care about that though, <laughs> but like that's the thing. Not everyone's into superheroes. So. Yeah, the Proud Family was timeless for many generations and made messages that black not only that Black Lives Matter, but your kids are the future. And I think that's what this new series is going to represent, especially because there's a new character for the new Proud Family series, the Proud Family Ladder and Prouder. There's a new character according to D23.com, which is their expo site, Disney. And it's the, the character's name is Maya, a teenage activist who is going to be voiced by none other than True Jackson VP herself, Kiki Palmer. I love her, Kiki Palmer. She's awesome. I think they might also have like a trailer for the um, upcoming animated Disney movie, Raya and the Last Dragon. Mariah during this Super Bowl, yeah. Is is it starring Mariah Carey trying no, to fight? No, not off Mariah. Her it's Raya. It's R Y R A Y. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought you said Mariah. Like, oh. Mar- like all I want for Christmas is blech. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't um, have an update on how many times I heard that. Two billion. Cancel her. Bye. <laughs> I'm gay and I want that. Great like, voice. Dumb. You don't have to play that stupid song over and over and over again. I heard it in the form of WAP by Cardi B. Like, it wasn't a bad mashup, but uh, no. 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 Like, WAP is... From the top, make her it wet ass. Cardi yeah. B's wet ass... Uh, yeah. Genitals. <laughs> And all these post songs are coming back. And Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You is her begging for like her boyfriend back. It's promiscuous and it's sad. I don't know why, like all the female rappers are just rapping about sex now. Aren't there bigger issues at hand they could be like rapping about like yeah. a lot of things like I don't know. Is it just me? You know? U N I T U I, like Queen Latifah, you can't top her, of course, with social justice songs. Yeah. You the U N I T Y face, Ooh, Queen Latifah. Mhm. Um, we like that song. We stand. We stand, Queen Latifah. <laughs> mhm. And of course, we stand, Megan Thee Stallion. But I love how all her songs are just about like. Sucking, you know what? Sucking those pixie sticks and mm-hmm. licking those cakes. So, she's she's and parking that on. big Mack truck in the little garage, <laughs> and all the backyard barbecues. I'm censoring I'm this for the children. Yeah. They'll know eventually. They watch the Discovery Channel, don't they? <laughs> Going to Slim Shady. Little Slim Shady. So little Slim. Sh- 
real shim. Ugh. Yeah, I'm some <laughs> shitty sound. The real shitty, uh, some shitty. Yeah, I can't do it either. Yeah. So. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm oh. embarrassed. I have an an M and M poster in my room that I haven't hang, hung up yet. And I oh, can. speaking of which, we were talking about Cardi B. Yeah. Right? She was rumored to have been backstage once at Monday Night Raw, but I think it was just a script. But I'll tell you which which pop artist wasn't back wasn't a rumored to be backstage, but was at WWE. Who? You haven't seen it? It's no, all everywhere. Literally at the Royal Rumble, which I was got to talk about anyway. Um, Bad Bunny made an appearance mm. and performed but his new single Booker T after the Hall of Famer Booker T, and Booker T was right there hearing it out on the stage. Easiest money he ever made. <laughs> yeah. All that promotion. Yeah. He's um, a tw- I think he's a two-time Hall of Famer. So, yeah. WWE Hall of Fame. Yeah. Oh, also, The Miz, during the Royal R- Men's M- Rumble match, destroyed Bad Bunny's uh, DJ setup. If you don't know, go watch the WWE Network. Yeah, you know. It's uh, free for subscribers. Um, but then Bad Bunny was like, what the hell, man? And, like, walked down and beat the shit out of The Miz by doing, like, a Betsy flip off the top rope onto The Miz and John Morrison. And it was hilarious. And then made this ag- appearance again the next night on Monday Night Raw this last week. The Royal Rumble oh, was awesome. awesome. I'm willing to watch... The Royal Rumble with ads on Peacock. No, but <laughs> no, I think I'd rather have the five. Actually, I'll set up for a five dollar plan. It can't be that bad, right? Yeah. I like it's going um, to every single time I go back, it's going to show the ad instead of the show, right? I think um, they should really space it out between the matches. You know? Yeah. They have on Peacock. They now have The Office. I think like Parks and Rec and most of the DreamWorks films. Oh uh, yeah, because DreamWorks is bought out by Comcast. Yeah. What a shame. That's how I watched the first Shrek film. I watched it on a DVD. What are you talking about? No, I. I haven't seen it in a while. I mm. had it on DVD, but my DVD stopped working. My DVD player just stopped. Hey, Liam, oh. repeat after me. Put locker. <laughs> <laughs> Open load. One, two, three movies. Yeah. Right? I used that to watch 16 Candles with my boyfriend like a few weeks ago. It was a good movie. I liked it. The Disney Channel movie? No, movie? not 16. No, that was oh. 16 Wishes. That There's a different one that's not related at all called 16 Candles, which is from like the 80s, maybe? Oh, now I get it. It's yeah. a yeah. John Hughes movie. I think it's I've seen really, it. Really movie. The guy was hot. Yeah. I'm sorry. The, the guy was hot. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm gay. Uh-huh. I can say that. Yeah. I'm yeah. here. I'm queer all day, baby. <laughs> 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 um, I saw the first Shrek film on Peacock because I haven't seen it in a while, and I posted on Instagram like a screenshot. I was like, "Man, I forgot how funny this first Shrek film is is because uh, I had, I hadn't seen it in like maybe ten years." I loved Fiona's song, you know, like la da da, da da da, la da da, la 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 la, and then the bird sings along. I'm like, oh, here, let's go. Yeah, like when people think of Shrek, they think of um, the soundtrack. Bad Reputation by Joan Jett. Bad Reputation by Joan Jett and the Black Arts. Um, That song doesn't make me think of Shrek. Yeah, That that one makes me think of Ronda Rousey. Let's be real for a minute. The baddest woman on the planet. That was her theme. 
That was her theme song. She performed that, Joan Jett performed that live for Ronda Rousey's opening at WrestleMania 35. Nice. Um, but yeah, when, last match. when people think of Shrek, they think of Smash Mouth. Mm, but not. That's true, true, yeah. And, the, uh, and then there, whoever made that song, I'm a Believer. Yeah. Who was that? Wait, who was that? That was not Smash Mouth. Who was that? No, um, I don't know. I'm gonna look this up. I think it might be the monkeys, but I could be wrong. Or they think of. Oh no, it is Smash Mouth. Never mind. <laughs> oh. Huh. Okay. I they, um, on. they think of Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah. I. Um, yeah. Remember the uh, towards the end of the film where Shrek is contemplating. Why he gave Fiona up to um, Lord Farquaad? Mm. Oh yeah, true. Play. Yeah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Mm. <clears throat> oh, I didn't know that was in there. Yeah, it is. Huh. Sounds like every day. Um. There's this one one shot where Shrek breaks a piece of glass and it's it transitions into like a chandelier at the tailor's uh, office, whatever it is that they're called, where Fiona's getting her wedding dress fitted. And they the only scene, yeah. one scene that I think of every time I think of it, where Shrek runs through the doors, and feel free to clip this in this video as we speak while editing. But like the one thing I picture when I picture Shrek still is when Shrek runs through the doors and yells, "I object!" <laughs> Perfect timing. That's great. Or, or when Shrek is throwing Donkey up through. The- up to the window, and Donkey's like, they're about to um, do their vows. You know, they're about to say, whoever objects to this union, um, do so now or forever hold your peace. And then Shrek's like, oh, fuck it. I object. <laughs> yeah, just, just talked about, yeah, I just mentioned that one. That was funny. Um... What else? I really like the fourth Shrek movie. I haven't seen that one yet. I still haven't seen that, but I have it on a DVD. So, yeah. It's really good. I have the first one on DVD. I don't know if I have the second one on DVD or not. I have the third one on DVD, which Mm. everybody hates. And then I have the fourth one on DVD. Mm, I have all four on DVD, I think. Actually, I don't know if I had the first one on DVD. I'm not, not entirely sure. I'll, I'll have to look at that and get back to you. But yeah. All right, so yeah. we're got off topic again. We keep doing that. Yeah. Um, it's okay. Let's bring it back to the Super Bowl. Um, now that... Since we talked about the ads, I want to talk about um, what's going on on the field. Yeah, <laughs> you can go to sleep I'm during like, this. Um, dead, dead face. <laughs> First of all, my money's on the Buccaneers. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, they've got Tom Brady and Rob. And the Gronk. They got both the superstars yeah. from... The the Patriots, yeah, no, they're done. The Patriots are out. Sorry, bye. Yeah, you got six rings. So what? Your best quarterback just left. Yeah, you, it's not worth it. You could have put up more of a fight for him. Um, you know who else has six rings? Tom Brady. Good on. 
<laughs> my boyfriend. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Um. What's funny is that I saw this TikTok that um I might edit in. I don't know how to do the sounds for TikTok just yet. I'm figuring um, it out. I just got TikTok. Yeah. So there's this woman that I follow on TikTok. She's a pretty good singer and she does like a cover of Ariana Grande Seven Rings. Yeah. But it's yeah, it's all about Tom Brady and his six rings. Mm. You could also make it seven rings quoting Ariana Grande. Yeah, if he if he wins tomorrow, it's seven way seven rings. Mm. It's more than Michael Jordan has. Michael Jackson. <laughs> um on the other side. Um, Kansas City, they have a pretty talented quarterback as well, uh, Patrick Mahomes. Um, mm -hmm. I think he won the Super Bowl last year. And he does this, was there last year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have this thing where it's like the Kansas City magic. It, if, mm. if they turn it on. The Kansas City Chiefs win the game. Um, uh, but like, let's be. But like, keep in mind that the Patriots were in two Super Bowls with Tom Brady and the Gronk, one and one. And I hate the Patriots just like yeah. I hate the Cowboys because I'm a Giants fan. We're out. I don't care about sports now. All I care about now are the ads and this halftime show. The end. But like, and even then, even then, you don't really like who's performing at the the halftime show. And I don't even care about that. I will literally yeah. just watch YouTube doing that shit. I don't care. I'm uh, not even a fan of the weekend. But one thing is for sure is that if they have Tom Brady, the Gronk, they both won two two Super Bowls over the last three years. Keep that in mind. And they're going to the Super Bowl tomorrow night. Yeah. Again, on a brand you new team. If they're, the only team, if they're running shit, they're going to win. My the money's on the Buccaneers. Probably beat Tom Brady at the Super Bowl are the Giants. And even then... That's true. But even that's, um, there's no Manning. Manning's out. Yeah. He's retired. Even then, the new quarterback is he's hot, but he sucks. I'm sorry. Like He's kind of hot, but he sucks. I'm sorry. He's, I'm sorry, but no like ever man. since Manning left, I mean, even when Manning left, part of my bed head edit this. Feel free to edit, please edit this out. When like, you know, when after while Manning after Manning left, they sucked. Yeah. The that, and it was the new QB. It's not happening anymore. The Giants' magic is gone. It's and so all weird. the Umberto's pizzas aren't helping clearly anymore. And that was um, a good luck thing. But yeah, this this should be interesting. Yeah. An interesting game. Yeah, even though I won't care pretty much still because <laughs> the Giants are out. I'm kind of yeah. salty, so yeah. Mm. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I, I get you. Not to I'm mention if the ads too. suck too, I'm out. I'm done. F screw the Super Bowl. <laughs> screw this crap. Screw the NFL and screw the FCC for making the ads suck. Nah. And screw the weekend because I don't like his music. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sure he's a good human being, and some of his songs are okay, but nah. No, you're not Shakira, you're not J-Lo, you're not Bono, and you're not Beyonce. You you can't do this, I'm sorry. He's Canadian. Madonna, Madonna even rocked this shit, you know? He's Canadian, too, so he might be pretty polite. That's true. Eh? eh? I have friends from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I have some friends from Canada, so yeah. Um, so what else are we going to talk about? Royal Rumble. We Royal Rumble, we kind of did. Yeah. Super Bowl, we definitely did. I didn't go over the results of the matches, though. You can go. Yeah. I'll, I'll go be quick. Over. 
it's too many details. I'll I'm gonna sum it up quick, nice easy. So if you are watching this video and haven't watched the Royal Rumble but want to, skip this now. I'll give you ten seconds. Ready? I can't count. Okay. So, I'm going to start with the winners of some of the title matches. Carmella versus Sasha Banks. Carmella with Reginald, of course. Sasha retained the championship title. Yeah, Sasha's still champ. When it comes to some of the matches I didn't care enough to watch, for instance, Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens, I really couldn't care less, but Roman Reigns retained. And I know this because a friend kept, kept me in the loop. There was a t one title match, I think. It might have been the tag team title. And I forgot what it, it was. The first two match, first match I didn't care about. It was kind of a filler match. No one cared. And as I said before, Bad Bunny performed his new song, Booker T, which is top in the charts. You gotta go listen. It's awesome. And then, and then had a segment with The Miz later on. And The Miz and Booker and, uh, the Miz and Bad Bunny, that's a beef right there. Mm -mm. Now, the Royal Rumble matches. This is the best part of the show. It's my favorite pay-per-view for that reason, because you never know who you're going to see. Some returning superstars, like long returning, and the women's match was the unfabulous singer, Jillian Hall, who, had, who came back with her Britney Spears no auto-tune um, gimmick, which was awesome. Teaming up with Billy Kay to form Billy and Jilly. That was really freaking funny. Another returning superstar was Naomi, who was entered at number two. Lasted such a long time in this match, especially against Bailey and Bianca Belair. Naomi was out for since late summer after, I think, a mental health thing or a surgery. I don't know exactly what it was, but it's her second hiatus. And I don't think she should have returned, honestly. Another returning superstar was Lana, who was out for injury since since TLC pay-per-view after being injured by Nia Jax. I also wanted her not to come and return. I'm so glad she didn't win, but I'm still mad she returned. Very wa serious waste of Royal Rumble entrance. Um, oh, I did remember one thing. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler beat Charlotte Flair and Oscar for the titles earlier in the night and teamed up against teamed up against everyone else in the ring near the end of the Royal Rumble Women's Rumble match. The first NXT entrant to enter this year was Shotzi Blackheart, lasting a whooping two rounds. And by rounds, I mean every time someone new enters, I count that as a round. It's just me, I guess. Um, Shotzi put up a good fight in the first few in her for, in her rounds. She did pretty good. Uh, again, Dakota Kai entered and was eliminated after one round. Pretty sad. Rhea Ripley made an appearance. Victoria, the uh, long-awaited return of Victoria finally happened. Yeah, she, her, and a fun fact, her theme song was by Nicki Minaj. Yeah, it was pretty cool. She pretty much kicked ass in that ring. Tori Wilson, the 2019 Hall of Famer cl class of Hall of Hall of Famer, Hall of Fame there, yeah, Hall of Fame class of 2019, Tori Wilson from the Attitude Era made a return, lasted two rounds, was eliminated by Lacey Evans, Ric Flair, the Nature Boy, woo, made an entrance with Lacey Evans, because there's some stupid gimmick between Rick and Lacey versus Charlotte, and I don't understand it, um, but you know. Oh, um, also, two other legends returned, and that was Mickey James and Alicia Fox, who also won the 24-7 championship title during the match from our truth Got eliminated and got lost her title, and it was the funniest thing ever. Because I've noticed every year in the women's match, there's some comic, some one part that's comic relief. Like, the first year was Vicky Guerrero screaming on a microphone. Very funny. Excuse me! In the second rumble, it was Alicia Fox and Maria Canales fighting over a hat. 
the last year it was oh it was Santina Morella, a man dressed as a woman coming to fight Beth Phoenix in the middle of the ring, and it was hilarious. And then this year it was Alicia Fox, but then our truth comes out, twenty four seven championship defended, and it was just I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> it was too funny, man. Oh, and Ember Moon made a return as well, even though she's technically has been on NX, back on NXT since October. New gimmick, and she kicked ass in the two three rounds. Now for the men's match. Oh, by the way, Bianca Belair won the Women's Royal Rumble. The final three were Charlotte Flair, Rhea Ripley, and Bianca Belair. Charlotte from Raw, Rhea from NXT, and Bianca from SmackDown. And it turned out Bianca Belair is the winner. Which is actually my she was actually my pick to win this from from the get-go. So I'm actually so proud of Bianca Belair, the EST of WWE. She goes there now. You can't whoop her. She goes there now. So yes, go Bianca Belair. We're rooting for you at WrestleMania. And then for the men's match, Edge made a return as entry number one. And I'm going to skip all this crap, but from NXT, there was Damian Priest, which is a really cool entry if you ask me. Uh, Bad Bunny made a return and did a dive off the top rope to attack The Miz. And... Okay. And... Uh, not only did Edge return, but also Christian return after years after an injury. And that was such a cool thing to see. Just that whole that whole friendship between Edge and Christian in the ring come back full circle. That was one of the coolest things I saw that night. Um, not to mention the big red machine Kane also made a return that night. And uh oh, I forgot who else. Uh Someone else returned that night. Oh, Seth Rollins returned, and again, I didn't want him to return. But apparently they found my list of people who not to return, and Vince McMahon would be like, fuck it, and said, like, let's make them go. Let's make them enter this match. Well, let's, p- let's piss off everybody. No, low expectations. Screw you, WWE Universe. But long story short, it was entry number one, entry number one was Edge. Entry number two was Randy Orton, and they have had a, such a beef over the last year. But in the end, Edge was victorious and won the Royal Rumble. At entry number one, which is groundbreaking, nobody can do that usually. Only one person, I think, ever has done that. I think that might have been the nature boy, Ric Flair. Woo! But now Edge has gone in history as the one person, other person who has one at entry number one that is crazy and now edge is going to wrestlemania and i believe he's either going to go after i don't know who is which champion is going after between drew mcintyre on raw the raw champion uh roman reigns from smackdown the universal champion or i don't even know or care who's the nxt champion at the time it might be carrying cross i don't think it is i don't know i doubt it might be adam cole i don't know have been following up with champions. And as for Bianca, who was the victor for the women's match, out of two, cha- two no, three championships between Raw, which is that champion is Asuka, SmackDown, which is Sasha Banks, and NXT, which is currently Io Shirai, I think the championship's going after is Sasha Banks. And now that is a match I want to see at WrestleMania. And now, and now, as the Royal Rumble comes, comes to an end, up next on the w- on the road to WrestleMania is Elimination Chamber, and I don't know the date yet, but I'm gonna look it up right now. <clears throat> now, according to this, uh, WWE's Elimination Chamber pay per view will be on Sunday, February twenty first at at Tropicana Field in the WWE. Thunderdome, located in St. Petersburg, Florida. That is 20 minutes away from where the Super Bowl is going to be held tomorrow. Yes, it is. And speaking of the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl is currently, the, tomorrow night is taking place in Tampa, Florida at the Raymond James studio, Stadium, which is also where this year's WrestleMania, WrestleMania 37 is going to take place 
that same location, April 10th and 11th in Tampa Bay, Florida. Same stadium. They're kind of intertwined. Which one is it? Both the NFL and WWE. Um, so Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is next week. Who and wants to donate chocolates to me? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I have Jesse Glip for that one. Mm. Um, and it also happens to be my birthday on Valentine's Day. Yay! Um, for he's a jolly fella. For he's a jolly fella. I don't have royalties for a classic birthday song. Classic birthday song. Classic birthday song. I think you could say it. Nah, we're um, not paying royalties for this. No, no, no. Matter of fact, that's why all the TV shows don't sing the birthday song. They can't afford. They don't want to pay the royalties. Yeah. Even though the birthday person who made the birthday song is long dead, long past. Yeah, they have to pay the royalties to the estate of that person. Um, but I think we don't use like the copyrighted. Um, version of it we be in the clear. Use public um, domain songs if you're running a TV show and it's a birthday. Yeah. Use public domain. It's open. It's free for you to take. For instance, what I just sang, that was public domain. Yeah. Um, it's almost like a baseball song, you know. It's like take me out to the ball game. I think that's also public domain. Yeah. Just... Um. Okay. Think of it. What else is public domain? I'm out of ideas. <laughs> Beethoven, any like Beethoven song? Wait, that wait, those are public domain. Yeah. Huh. Um, huh. No wonder Peanuts keeps using the release. Yeah. That explains. That explains it. So, anyways. Oh. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I was saying, what about Sebastian Bach? Yeah. Any, any classical music artist, I think, is public domain. Domain. Yeah, actually, one of the WWE superstars' themes, Daniel Bryan, yeah. his theme is Ride of the Valkyries, but like a rock and roll version of it. Da, 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 it's like. My favorite. Um, my favorite one. So. As Valentine's Day is next week, and it is my birthday, it sucks because, one, not only am I supposed to give gifts out to my significant other, they're supposed to give me gifts in return, so they could just combine their gift as, like, a Valentine's Day gift and a birthday day gift. Wait, do you um, have a secret girlfriend and didn't tell me? No. No. My potential girlfriend. Worst comes to worst, you can leak your your contact information and a fo or a phone number for a single ladies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Um, and uh, what else? What else? It sucks. I really want to go out on my birthday. It's like but, but we can't. Nobody yeah. can because COVID. Uh, so COVID, so, COVID um, coming back in New York City on Valentine's Day. That's true. I heard like restaurants may be reopening in the city. Yeah. On Valentine's. Effective Valentine's Day for all the lovers out there. If you're in the New York City area, you good. Um, so bring a mask. And wait until you get your drinks to take those masks off at the table and you're super good to go. Yeah, the only thing is now. that we now have like a ten o'clock curfew. Where? Which sucks because a lot of in the city. Um, in the I city, think right? so. Yeah, New York yeah, City. Yeah, keep that in the city. We're good here. I feel like we're here where we are, which is undisclosed location. We should be good. We're. I think we'll have a curfew. We're yeah. not being I'm not ten years old again. Um. We have a 10 o'clock curfew here, and it kind of sucks because a lot of restaurants really want to um, have a Super Bowl party, and 
the Super Bowl starts at 6.30 at night, and it'll last for like four or five hours. So they can't really do that if they want to break curfew and risk it all. Yeah, um, but I think as far as I'm concerned, Governor Cuomo broke all the rules himself and got away with it because, oh, I'm a governor, man, man. <laughs> I have a bridge named after me. Man, yeah, top of Z yeah. is now me, man. No, 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 no. You're in New York, too. Governor Cuomo, if you're watching this, you better be. I will DM you the same. You need to follow. You're in New York, too. You're no better than us. Yep. Government or not, you follow your own rules, too. Because if you do it, if you break those rules, we will, too. That goes double for de Blasio. No one likes you. But, yeah. I can't wait till he's... Sell- I hate Governor Cuomo so much. I'm sorry. Uh, they movie. sell Governor Cuomo's book at our bookstore, our online bookstore. <laughs> and it's all, it's the one they wrote about handling the COVID-19 virus. I just barked my mouth just hearing that sentence. He did not yeah. handle it. No, 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 no. He didn't handle it. There's plenty of better ways he could have handled it, but this is a blue state, so uh, no. Yeah. So, of course, like, no. It was terribly handled. It could have been a lot better. He, they could have closed down JFK. They could have closed down LaGuardia. They could have done a lot of better jobs at the borders. They could have done a lot better. And they chose not to. Matter of fact, I think Governor Cuomo screwed us. That's just my opinion. You know. Not to mention, you're holding back millions of vaccines that millions of random regular civilians, average Joes, need. Yeah. You keep on saying that we have a limited supply and we're not allowed to give those out without, um, you know, federal approval. You know, just give out the vaccines. Like just yesterday, um, they opened up the vaccine site in Yankee Stadium, and it's only open to people who are sixty-five years or older. My grandma got the vaccine. Yeah, and they have um, specific health conditions, but. It's only open to the residents of the Bronx. Dude, and you have to make an, you have to make an appointment like two weeks in advance to try to get it there. Um, yeah, it sucks. They're, they're the reasons why life can't go back to normal in a way because yes it is limited yes the pharmaceutical companies are doing all they can but get whatever you can out to everybody so normal life can resume so we don't have to wear stupid masks in public and have terrible face acne and rashes because of it we don't have to do this over zoom so we don't have to do this over Zoom. So we can actually record this in a studio. Yeah. So we don't have to wait 12 more months for our favorite shows to resume filming. So we don't have to be stuck at home instead of being wherever we want, we can be. I'm starting to think that maybe this is all... Nah, I don't, I'm not going to say it. I think we all already know. We all know what I'm going to say. I'm starting to think yeah. that, yes, it was bad. But now they're just using it. And yes, it was bad. Yes, it was killing people. But now they're just using it as an excuse to separate us in a way. Divide the nation. Maybe this is probably Orwellian, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Come on, you haven't read 1984 Big... by George Orwell? Yeah, I heard. I have Big Brother is watching this, always. Yes. <laughs> I was they're listening to us on our phones. 
Do not fine. listen to me. I don't trust okay. this thing. I do not trust this phone. And I don't trust you, Alexa, you a bitch. I'm so I so glad I muted her. My... I wish I had mine plugged in to see her reaction. I told my mom I never wanted an Echo Dot in my room. She, she bought me it. one anyway. So now if I say shit, they know where I'm at. They know. Unfortunately. Amazon's always following you around. I hate Amazon. <laughs> I hate Amazon. Screw you, Jeff Bezos. Screw you, whoever you are, new CEO. Yeah. You don't improve the job sites on those warehouses, then you belong in hell. I'm sorry, bye. Um, what else? What else do we want to talk about? Maybe we could end it off with good gifts to give a significant other for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Or date ideas. Um, don't go out to a restaurant. You know, it's going to be booked. Um, Nothing wrong with a candlelit capacity. dinner or somewhere outdoors to go sightsee for a day, for like the day, yeah. and then have a romantic candlelight dinner or something. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with ordering DoorDash for dinner. It's kind of the same thing, but now you can have the ambiance of your own candlelight dinner in your own house. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna do that. That's kind of my plan with Jesse. Is I'm gonna take him out to Wood, the upstate New York region, maybe for the day for at Woodbury Common outdoor shopping area. Mm. Just go window shop, and just get out and have a good time. Drive a little bit. And then at later that night, we're going to order food in and have a romantic candlelight dinner at a dinner table. Um, I might be going to the city for my birthday. Oh, uh, yeah, because your birthday, yes. Yeah, on we Valentine's stand, Day. King. We stand, yeah. birthday king. We stand. The only thing that's kind of holding me back is my anxiety. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Where was last time, this yeah, last time I was in the city, it was for my brother's birthday. We went to um, the Museum of Natural History, and mm. we went to McDonald's in Times Square. Oh, they have a two-story one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and it turns out I was exposed to someone who then recently tested positive for COVID, so I had to spend two weeks, actually no, I spent one week waiting for my um, test to come back. The next week, trying to get back to work at Amazon, next half a week, getting back to work at Amazon, and then waiting two to three days for the A to Z app to finally update and put me back on the schedule. And so Amazon I can go back sucks. Let's be real. Always have <laughs> Um. But yeah, that's, that's the only thing that's keeping me back. Because today, I went food shopping with my brother at a very crowded stop and shop. Hmm. And you know there's I, apps to help you with that stuff now, right? Yeah. Like Instacart and Peapod. And no, not Peapod. They discontinued it. It's now Go Rewards, I think. Yeah, Instacart. That would be yeah. I just got employed by them. Um. So yeah, if you're in Long Island, I could be the one de delivering your Instacart groceries. Holla! Not sponsored by Instacart. Of course not. I'm also on um, DoorDash. I'm also delivering with DoorDash, so I'm kind of a double threat. Yeah. This is my alternative to going back to that Amazon, that dreaded, horrible, horrendous Amazon warehouse. Where yeah, never doing that again. That was yes, the um. But yeah, it was really packed today, and I just had a mini panic attack. At work? No, at um, Stop and Shop. 
Oh, okay. So my mom was like, maybe, maybe you shouldn't go into the city on your birthday if you have a panic attack at the stop and shop. It's probably going to get worse. That's true. Subway. So yeah, that's, that's true. So yeah. I might Last take time. it day by day, think about it. I mean, there's also places in the city where you can easily avoid this, like Central Park. Yeah. Central I, Park. Um, yeah, or some places have outdoor dining. Like, I saw this one place right near the New York Athletic Club in, in New York City that had heat lamps and a little a little courtyard eatery, eatery area, and it was just so pretty and cute. And I want to go check that out in the spring because it looks nice. But it's expensive. High rise. So much time there still. I remember I the high rise is open. The oh. high rise, the high rise might be open. The park that's built on, um, old subway lines in Manhattan. Mm. Okay. Public um, subway lines. So it's, that's pretty cool. And they have a Krispy Kreme in Times Square now, where the old Hershey store was, and it has the donut press. I have never had Krispy Kreme. Ever. Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. If you do go in the city, you will need to go to Times Square, Krispy Kreme. They have an exclusive Krispy Kreme flavor that's nowhere, that's not available anywhere else but the Times Square store, and that's the Big Apple Donuts. Not sponsored. We can't afford that, unless you want to sponsor us. Unless if this blows up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I have... Home. I've had um, Krispy Kreme coffee. That's because I have a Keurig coffee maker, and I bought like fifty. That's the same as the donuts, dude. Yeah. Seriously, yeah, they're <clears throat> my favorite donuts on the freaking planet. When they closed their new Long Island stores, I was heartbroken. I don't care about Bank of America. I want my co- Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> What's weird is that. There used to be a Bank of America over by me. They closed it like a couple months ago, and now it's Popeyes. Wow. Retribution. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, no, not retribution. Give me my Krispy Kreme back. <laughs> I want it back. We already have a Chase. We don't need more. Mm-hmm. Actually, no. Turn Chase back in the Krispy Kreme. I want that back. I want Krispy Kreme back. Okay, so I think that's it on valentine's day yes don't forget your flowers hallmark cards and those giant boxes of chocolates maybe even a stuffed animal you can get all these for five dollars maybe ten at walmart that's what i do go to walmart not 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 sponsored by walmart either i should probably do that tomorrow when i think of it i'm gonna do that tomorrow either Mm. walmart or big lots or Ocean State Job Lot, maybe. Yeah, that could work. Ocean State Job Lot. But yeah, don't forget to get your significant other stuff before it's gone. Don't forget it's President's Day coming up. So, like, Big Lots, Sam's Club, they'll have their stupid little sales. Don't to celebrate that Toyota Thon. Facts. Oh, it's still going on. I think so, yeah. Or is it just the President's Day sale? I don't know. Um, it might be going on. Yes. I don't care. I, I'm good I with my Nissan. And for all you kids going to the spring break, not spring break, sorry, but sorry, winter break, second winter break, February <laughs> break, I don't care. Live it up. President's you have this week. little time. Go to Florida. Go to Bermuda. Do something fun. Actually, no. If you can't do it because COVID. Can't do it because we probably yeah. still have that quarantine list that Andrew Cuomo created okay, during the summer. Just go to Florida. Is that everything's open. Go to <laughs> Florida. Have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, kids, stay in school. But when you're not in school on a break, have fun. Have fun. Let's the go Buccaneers. Okay. Um, 
Let's go, but, Buccaneers uh, and Andrew Yang to replace Cuomo. Let's go. <laughs> Andrew Yang is running for mayor of New York City. Actually, you know what? I think he'd be a better fit than De Blasio. No one likes De Blasio. De Blasio. That Yang gang. Yang yeah, gang. Yes. Uh, yeah. I think that's it. Oh, yeah. The streaming. I want to talk about some movies that I saw. Oh, yeah. That too. Yes. Um, I always want to myself while you mentioned your movies. One of them, I just recently saw the new Netflix movie, Malcolm and Marie. It's starring um, John David Washington, uh, Denzel Washington's son, and Zendaya. It's fine. Um, they both do a pretty good job in it. Um, Zendaya is actually pretty good. She might get her Oscar for this movie. Um, it's just that it's kind of exhausting. If it's all about this director who finally gets to make the movie that he made, he wants to make, and they're not celebrating. They don't have like an after party of the premiere. Instead, it's just John David Washington and Zendaya arguing at home. And they make up. And then they argue again. And then they make up again. And then Malcolm, John David Washington's character, goes off on a tangent on how this one white woman who writes for the LA Times has no idea um, what the black experience is all about. And by that point, I'm like, can't you just table this for tomorrow? You know, party, have fun. <laughs> you know, you just had the biggest night of your career. You two are in your mid-twenties, and you're as sexy as hell. Just do it. Have sex like you want. You clearly want to do. And I'm not going to spoil the ending. The ending's kind of nice. Um... The other movie I saw that I really like is this 2001 film, Almost Famous. It's about this young teenager who gets to go on tour with a rock, with a classic rock band, and he writes for Rolling Stone. Yeah, he wrote. He writes for Rolling Stone magazine, um, and he goes on tour with them. He falls in love with this girl that he meets on tour, who is a fan of the band. Yet they end up going their separate ways, um, and. They and the kid's story gets written and published in Rolling Stone. And I think that's it. Let me just. Um, so. All the good movies. Yeah, they are. They, they pretty are. Pretty much are. Um, I think that's all we really wanted to talk about today, this episode. Yep. Sounds about right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a pretty long episode, this one. 
Oh yeah. Good luck getting this one. Uh, Still more. Uh... Good luck getting this one. Yeah. Um. My cat just made a cameo in the room. <laughs> my cat, so my new kitty Sylvie. She's so cute. Um. But yeah. I might so, figure out how to edit with. Um. After Effects. Okay. So where can we find you, Liam? In case, for those of us who are new here and have no idea who we are, I'm Rocky Hollows, Liam Noonan, that's you. Yeah. Where, so where can we find you socially? Start with you, uh, sir. My, inst- my Instagram is at PossessedDog on Instagram. That was dog um, my Twitter is at Liam High School, all spelled out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to type this all anyway. Mm-hmm. One, the number one. And you can find me right here on this YouTube page. What That's can true. they find you, Rocky? Glad you asked. Here's all my <laughs> handles. <laughs> <laughs> can you see this? Yeah, I can see it. You okay. s- you're screen sharing it. Yes, so you can find me at Rocky Hollows here on YouTube. Find me at Rocky Hollows on Instagram. You can find me on Rocky Hollows on Twitch, where I will be streaming very shortly, within the next two months, or ho- hopefully. This is my Discord handle, Rocky Hollows. Oh, it's actually not 8730, it's 0014 right now. My Twitter is that Rocky New York, so we're switching it up. And this is my Spotify, where you can find all my playlists. Yep, that's all the places you can find me. Yep. Um had it all graphic right here graphics okay that, i just made up a word yeah there's all the places well, you can find me so hopefully we won't uh make another episode in two months from now hopefully it'll be a lot sooner yes it in march depends. i'll go i'll skip fast lane and just go straight to who i think is gonna win at wrestlemania <laughs> i don't care yeah. about fast lane it's just a filler it's a filler pay-per-view I don't know at all what they're do- planning to do with Elimination Chamber, but that's coming up again on set- on Sunday, uh, February 21st at 7 p.m. on the WWE Network. Be there or put your hair up and square up. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Yep. That's all. Um, so we got happy Valentine's Day, happy birthday. Yeah, and thank you. happy yeah day <laughs> i ran out of things um, happy super bowl sunday that's what it will be okay yeah the buccaneers hopefully hopefully the buccaneers win is um, it kind of cheating that they're kind of in their own home element home yeah, field advantage cause... don't they usually just randomly put it more yeah they they did it um in 2012, in Indianapolis. 2012, they did it at... Um, Indianapolis. Not like Indianapolis. Um, Last year, it was in uh, Miami at the Hard Rock Stadium. Yeah. Sponsored by the Guitar Hotel, Hard Rock Hotel and Casino and Resort, Seminole, Florida. Yeah. Um, so that's it. That's we'll all. see you next time. Bye. Bye.